Yaroslav I, Grand Prince of Rus, known as Yaroslav the Wise or Yaroslav the Wise, c. 978, February 20, 1054, was thrice Grand Prince of Veliky Novgorod and Kiev, uniting the two principalities for a time under his rule. Yaroslav's Christian name was George, Yuri, after Saint George. A son of the Vrangian Grand Prince Vladimir the Great, he was vice-regent of Novgorod at the time of his father's death in 1015. Subsequently, his eldest surviving brother, Sviatopolk I of Kiev, killed three of his other brothers and seized power in Kiev. Yaroslav, with the active support of the Novgorodians and the help of Vrangian mercenaries, defeated Sviatopolk and became the Grand Prince of Kiev in 1019. Under Yaroslav the codification of legal customs and princely enactments was begun, and this work served as the basis for a law code called the Rushkaya Pravda, Rus Truth, Law. During his lengthy reign, Kievan Rus reached the zenith of its cultural flowering and military power. Rise to the throne The early years of Yaroslav's life are shrouded in mystery. He was one of the numerous sons of Vladimir the Great, presumably his second by Ranita of Polotsk, although his actual age, as stated in the primary chronicle and corroborated by the examination of his skeleton in the 1930s, would place him among the youngest children of Vladimir. It has been suggested that he was a child begotten out of wedlock after Vladimir's divorce from Ranita and marriage to Anna Porphyrgenita, or even that he was a child of Anna Porphyrgenita herself. Yaroslav figures prominently in the Norse sagas under the name Jaroslav the Lame, his legendary lameness, probably resulting from a narrow wound was corroborated by the scientists who examined his remains. In his youth, Yaroslav was sent by his father to rule the northern lands around Rostov but was transferred to Veliky Novgorod, as befitted a senior heir to the throne, in 1010. While living there, he founded the town of Yaroslav, literally, Yaroslavs, on the Volga River. His relations with his father were apparently strained, and grew only worse on the news that Vladimir bequeathed the Kievan throne to his younger son, Boris. In 1014 Yaroslav refused to pay tribute to Kiev and only Vladimir's death, in July 1015, prevented a war. During the next four years Yaroslav waged a complicated and bloody war for Kiev against his half-brother Sviatopolk I of Kiev, who was supported by his father-in-law, Duke Bolesław I Grabry of Poland. During the course of this struggle, several other brothers, Boris, Gleb, and Sviatoslav, were brutally murdered. The primary chronicle accused Sviatopolk of planning those murders. While the saga Im under Thatterings is often interpreted as recounting the story of Boris' assassination by the Vrangians in the service of Yaroslav. However, the victim's name is given there as Burizov, which is also a name of Bolslasi in the Scandinavian sources. It is thus possible that the saga tells the story of Yaroslav's struggle against Sviatopolk, whose troops were commanded by the Polish duke and not against Boris. Citation needed, Yaroslav defeated Sviatopolk in their first battle, in 1016, and Sviatopolk fled to Poland. One of his first actions as a Grand Prince was to confer on the loyal Novgorodians, who had helped him to gain the Kievan throne, numerous freedoms and privileges. Thus, the foundation of the Novgorod Republic was laid. For their part, the Novgorodians respected Yaroslav more than they did other Kievan princes, and the princely residence in their city, next to the marketplace, and where the Vetch often convened, 
was named Yaroslav's court after him. It probably was during this period that Yaroslav promulgated the first code of laws in the lands of the East Slavs, the Rushkaya Pravda. Reign power struggles between siblings leaving aside the legitimacy of Yaroslav's claims to the Kievan throne and his postulated guilt in the murder of his brothers, Nestor the chronicler and later Russian historians often presented him as a model of virtue, styling him the wise. A less appealing side of his personality is revealed by his having imprisoned his youngest brother Sudisla for life. Yet another brother, Mstislav of Chernigov, whose distant realm bordered the North Caucasus and the Black Sea, hastened to Kiev and, despite reinforcements led by Yaroslav's brother-in-law King Anon Jacob of Sweden, as Jakun, blind and dressed in a gold suit, inflicted a heavy defeat on Yaroslav in 1024. Yaroslav and Mstislav then divided Kiev and Rus between them the area stretching left from the Dnieper River, with the capital at Cherniev, was ceded to Mstislav until his death in 1036. Scandinavian Allies In his foreign policy, Yaroslav relied on the Scandinavian alliance and attempted to weaken the Byzantine influence on Kiev. In 1030, he reconquered Red Ruthenia from the Poles and concluded an alliance with King Casimir I the Restorer, sealed by the latter's marriage to Yaroslav's sister, Maria. In another successful military raid the same year, he founded Uriyev, today Tartu, Estonia, named after Yuri, Yaroslav's patron saint, and forced the surrounding province of Eugenia to pay annual tribute. Campaign against Byzantium. In 1043, Yaroslav staged a naval raid against Constantinople led by his son Vladimir of Novgorod and General Vashada. Although his navy was defeated in the Rus Byzantine War, 1043, Yaroslav managed to conclude the war with a favorable treaty and prestigious marriage of his son Svalod I of Kiev to the emperor's daughter. It has been suggested that the peace was so advantageous because the Kyvans had succeeded in taking a key Byzantine possession in Crimea, Gersensis. Protecting the inhabitants of the Dnieper from the Bekonegs, to defend his state from the Bekonegs and other nomadic tribes threatening it from the south he constructed a line of forts, composed of Yurov, Bohuslav, Konev, Kaurs and Shevchenkovsky and Pereslav Kmelnitsky, e. To celebrate his decisive victory over the Bekoniks in 1036, who thereupon never were a threat to Kiev, he sponsored the construction of the St. Sophia Cathedral in 1037. That same year there were built monasteries of St. George and St. Irene. Some mentioned in other celebrated monuments of his reign such as the Golden Gate of Kiev perished during the Mongol invasion of Rus, but later restored. Establishment of Law Yaroslav was a notable patron of book culture and learning. In 1051, he had a Slavic monk, Hilarion of Kiev, proclaim the Metropolitan Bishop of Kiev thus challenging the Byzantine tradition of placing Greeks on the Episcopal sees. Hilarion's discourse on Yaroslav and his father Vladimir is frequently cited as the first work of Old East Slavic literature. <laughs>